Well, with those results, we do have all three engineering firms here. Um, Council, if you have any questions for them, fire away. Well, I would just rather say, what, what would you have to say as engineers? Let's, let's hear what you have to say. Hmm. <coughs> so, I'll start. Uh, engineering Concepts, we're a Bonnetot County firm, uh, about a half an hour away. Uh, we've helped out the town of Iron Gate in the past years, typically on the sewer project, uh, with the assistance of getting your funding on that. So we've enjoyed working with the town staff, and now I think the third mayor that we've dealt with. Um, water is a big part of what we do, as I'm sure it is with the other gentlemen here, and would welcome an opportunity. Again, we consider you guys to be in our backyard. Uh, you're very um, convenient to get to, kind of a target target client of ours. So we look forward to an opportunity to work with you. Awesome. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> well, I'll follow along those lines because pretty much uh, engineering concepts and TNL are neighbors. <laughs> and and as y'all know, I've been working with them for the last four years, desperately trying to find you guys some money to get some work done. And we we've, we've finally gotten to that point. So I'm excited to at least get you guys rolling in the right direction. Zach, it kind of leaves you, buddy. Yeah, well, you know, the Thrasher Group, we're, we're, on, we're located in West Virginia. We're on the other side of the, the state line, and, and we've made a big, big, it's a goal of ours to build our presence here in southwestern Virginia and along the I-81 corridor. We're celebrating our 40th year as an engineering firm, and, and we like to think that we, we kind of go beyond the engineering and, and give give the total client service from funding to working with you when you have a water 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 line bust in the middle of the night and on Thanksgiving night. Um, the the kind of towns that we work for are, are small small towns like Iron Gate. We don't work for Richmond. We don't work for Roanoke. We've got a few of the larger towns in West Virginia, but they're not they're not. They're 40,000 people, that's about as big as we can go. We love the, the 2,000 to 10,000 population towns and would really like an opportunity to come over and work with you guys and just appreciate the, appreciate the opportunity to submit and hope you like what you see. You got some good, a couple other good engineering firms here, so give everybody a fair shake, but we, we, we'd appreciate the opportunity. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else got any more questions? I noticed um, when we were looking, the amount of money that, that the town has received is, is I got it right down here somewhere, nine hundred and some thousand dollars. Nine hundred and forty three thousand. Hmm? Nine hundred and forty three thousand. Nine hundred and forty three thousand. Um, Five hundred. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. My question is is this. Um, I know that you probably had to when you were filling out the projected amounts, you used up the entire amount of money. Um, is that something that you foresee that would have to happen? Because you gave projected amounts, but from my point of view, I was hoping that maybe a couple of thousand might be left for this little town to be able to do something else with that money that once it's been approved. It would have to fall in the guidelines of what's been approved. I understand that. But I was hoping that um, you all would be willing to work with the town and, and realize that it's even though it's small and we got all this money, we have a million things that we need to do with it. Mike, I'll let you kind of touch on that because you do work with Okay. Um, Jim Park Health Office drinking water. You are the ones who filled it up. I'll, I will highlight and then let you finish up on that. Um, the things that were listed specifically in the grant application is the only thing that we can use that money for. We can't go outside of that for anything other than that, that purpose. Um, and I have spoke with Mike about this and asked um, when he filled this application out prices have went up since then so we don't know but 
And am I correct with that? We have to stick exactly to what you listed. For the most part, yes. Okay. The, the, the projects that are laid out in the funding agreement, that's the critical part in the funding agreement, that's where the money is intended to go. Now, if you have money left, if you get the projects finished and you have money left over, if it's water related, then there's a possibility that we can work with VDH to add that in. And it's, in other words, you can move money around inside of the, mm -hmm. the, uh, of the funding agreement. You take a little bit off here, maybe move it over here, get you more value for your construction dollar, that type of mm -hmm. thing. Um, but as far as putting up another flagpole or something, and that, just as I an example. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it had to be within the guidelines. Within the guidelines that. of the agreement. And, and I can't speak for BDH. All I can say is we would, once we evaluate everything, then, then we we go we go to VDH and say hey this is this is what we've we're, what we're thinking. So I know you can speak for VDH, but I, I know you deal with VDH right, 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 right. probably more so than than anybody else uh, because your firm does do some of the contracting with VDH. Right. So that's why I leaned on you yeah, a little and, bit. And, 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 and it's a case by case. And you, and you answered something that I was a little fuzzy on too. So that was a good question, Kawana. Thank you. I think this gentleman here had something yeah. to say as well. We did the same thing for the town of Buchanan. We got them a, um, we, we uh, designed their entire water system and we also got the funding for them. And they had the same desires as the town of Iron Gate does. And uh, one thing that he is correct is that it has to be uh, related to the water. So we were able to get the town of Buchanan a gator and um, our a four-wheel drive for them to go and um, do their meter reading. We did the same thing for the town of Craigsville. They wanted a dump truck, um, they wanted um, a backhoe, and of course that was through a different funding agency, but we were able to do that. We listened to the town basically on what they would like to have. And that's a key component also is, yes, you have this money, but there is ways around to where you can move that money around to you know, to possibly purchase equipment that you would need. Correct. As long as it supports directly the, the water for, project. Yeah, for, for, for the water project. The, uh, the yeah. upkeep and maintenance of the water project, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and I don't know, you know, specifically what you're looking for, but depending on what it is, there, there's funding available for various things. If it's a streetscape project, mm -hmm. well, you know, we'll, I'll reach out to my land development division and get them in here to figure out what you want to do and figure out ways to, to fund those things. So if it's if it's within the scope of the water project, I think I think the other the other folks that have spoken are, are dead on. You you you've got some way, you've some little some wiggle room there. little wiggle room to get to get something that's critical that you need and and you know we we all we all are pretty good at working with those funding agencies and figuring those things out. I think this little town would like to get as much as it can, you know, it's it's bang for the buck type thing because I don't know when we would ever be graced with this amount of money again. Well, if some, ever. something that, we'll, you know, that we would try to do is take the money that you've been given mm -hmm. and leverage that into maybe maybe additional funds that that you can correct you know, try to try to get you try to turn 30 cents into a dollar kind of thing so thank you gentlemen i appreciate your answers anybody else have any questions now's your time to ask mm. i'm assuming that all of you can start tomorrow <laughs> we can start after the meeting <laughs> <laughs> oh. be careful <laughs> You don't know how anxious these these counts will be more. I was going to say, be, beware, you might end up with a uh, water break this evening. <laughs> Been there, done that. What would be the process if that were the case, if there were funds left over? Do you have to reapply and get an approval on that? We would talk with the funding agency about it um, with um, in, in regards to 
the desires of the town, we would ask to see if this money could be shifted to that. For instance, if you need a gator or you need something, a dump truck or what, what have you. Right. And it's just working with the funding agency to get that to happen. Some, you know, some filling out some forms and what have you. Okay. And I'm sure these, these two gentlemen will attest to it as well. It's about diligence. Uh, the town of Buckingham was told no several times about that, but again, it's about the relationships, the diligence, the, all right, how, you know, because it's free money. <laughs> right. How do we not give away free money? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's. But one thing, though, is you have to, um, you can't use your, well, in this case, like an RD, it was a mixture of grant and low interest loan. You can't use the grant money up front. You have to save the grant money for last. <coughs> but in this case, you've, you've got one big lump sum. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Wendy, do you have any questions? I mean, you said we talk every day about it. Right. I don't think I have any questions at this time. Okay. I do. Um, the big thing is keeping up with the records of the receipts and disbursements um, that have to be calculated and everything. Um, this is going to be something that's kind of new to us, new to Wendy in a way. Um, how versed are you guys to providing someone to assist her to making sure that we get all the every all of our T's crossed and our I's dotted? So I'm the owner of the company, and that's what I do. Okay. I, I, for the town of Craig's going uh, Buck Keenan, I was the one that got the disbursement request ready, packaged, sent off. Okay. Yeah, I mean we'll we'll have somebody assign you know that to, to help you out. We'll. we'll We'll hold your hand, work with work with the funding agencies to make sure you, you have those. We'll keep copies of those records for you for for ten years. If something comes up three years down the road, we'll have a copy. We'll sort of have a complete set and, and share it with you. And then you know if you have information you need to share, we'll we'll, we'll package up for you if you need you need us to. Okay. And you know not just do it for you, but teach you how to do it. There you go. Yeah, I mean I understand, I understand that's what both of you want to do, but I just want to make sure. And Mike, I'm sure you're, you, you, you we've discussed. You, you've been in the same. You said you would walk us through. Sure. But I just want to know what the others and, and for council to hear, and, and for Wendy because me and Wendy is we've sat here and we've got. I know she's beat her head. Wanted to make sure everything's done right. She is kind of OCD when it comes to that, but I wouldn't ask for anybody better. To sit behind that desk and take care of these funds for me. So that was my big question. I want to make sure she's got the help that she's going to need because she's your first point of contact. <laughs> and then she contacts me. So, so keep Wendy happy for Keep Wendy happy, you'll be happy. <laughs> um, Mr. Erskine, do you have anything for him? No, not right now. Okay. Um, there may be questions later, but not right at this moment. Okay. Any questions for? I do not. I have no questions. No. Everybody good? Guys, we can line an arm wrestle or something if you want. To. <laughs> <laughs> we put a mud pit out back. <laughs> no, it's, it's not me, but I'd like to see it. It's but. not the arm wrestle. We want to see how good you are with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> I defer to the owner on that. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all got to pick one guy. <laughs> All right, and um, I'd just like to say thank you for, for answering the questions and, and, and coming out. I um, wasn't sure if we were going to have questions or not. I think I think council has discussed amongst themselves, and, and, and we've looked at the proposals and everything, and I think they know what they want to do. I'm just here to facilitate, facilitate the vote that they want. Um, I have expressed where I stand with all three contracts, uh, proposal contracts and everything. So I guess I will ask council if, if you want to make a motion to how you would like to proceed. Personally, from my point of view, I would make a motion to place all three of these engineering firms uh, 
at the disposal of the town of Watergate. Okay. Uh, that way, if if uh, we need something and one firm can get here faster than another, <coughs> or whatever the case may be, you know, 30 minutes from Fincastle would be closer than West Virginia coming, especially if there's snow or something of that nature. So that would be my motion to place all three firms at the disposal and on our list that we can call for either the entire project or parts of the project. So okay. sort of an open-ended contract, retainer contract? That's it. Would y'all have a problem with that? We find that to be pretty typical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, I think it's, and I think it's smart. I mean, it gives you, gives you options, like you said. Yeah, I mean, one of you may be tied up in the end of something and not be able to get to it. We had an emergency or something. And granted, we know if you're, you're our, if you're our firm, you're going to want to do as quick as you can, but it may be quicker than, and I'll, I'll use my, I'll use my granddaughter for instance today. You know, she was playing with a toy and stuck it down her mouth and got choked. She didn't have anything stuck in there, but she got choked and my wife kind of panicked a little bit and come running through there. She's choking, she's choking. So she needed somebody immediately. So, and if I'd have been down here, it would have been really even worse. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Miss Person, are, are you making are making a? I'm making the motion. Yes. You're making the motion to to have an open all open-ended contract with all with three, all three engineering, engineering firms. firms. Yes, sir. I'll second it. Second by Vice Mayor Erskine. Comments, questions, or concerns. We'll take a roll call vote. Councilperson Tyree. Yes. Councilperson Harris. Yes. Councilperson Persinger. Yes, sir. Councilperson Curtis. Yes. Councilperson Rowan. Yes. Yes. Vice Mayor Erskine. Yes. With hearing no opposed, we will go into an open-ended contract retainer with all three engineering firms. Wendy. Um, so from there, I guess we'll we'll figure out how to go from there. 